Hey guys, Becky here with Creative Fabrica and I'm super excited to have you join me today because we have another cute little project with your Cricut. Now, if you like Cricut projects, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because we have a lot of really great Cricut projects for you. But today we are going to make your own stickers. Right, guys so here we are in Cricut Design Space and I promise today's project is really super easy but if you want to learn more about stickers because obviously we're talking about stickers today if you want to learn more about setting up your own sticker files make sure you run back to the YouTube channel because we have a video for you on turning clip art into stickers but you don't have to worry about that today. I just wanted to throw it out there as a little hint in case you're ready for the next step. But today we are working with actual sticker pre-made files from Creative Fabrica, of course. So let's go ahead and go to upload. Now I already have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six sticker files uploaded, but this is all part of the same bundle. But I wanted to show you in case you are not familiar with uploading, where you upload those from. So I have mine saved in my downloads folder. And let's see, here we go. Summer sticker bundle. And we're going to go to the PNG. And we can pick any of these that we want, but we are going to pick fun in the sun. Now I'm gonna select complex and continue. It'll give me my preview here. I will hit apply and continue. And then for a change, I want to select the print then cut image and choose upload. Now you can see, I mean, I do already have that one uploaded, but that is how it's done. So select all the ones that you want to include. There we go. And choose add to canvas. Now this may take a minute because you've selected so many files, but it will bring all those in at one time so that you don't have to worry about it again. Now they do come in rather large, but that's okay. We get kind of a cheat sheet over here on the right hand side. So I'm going to click on the first one and I already know that I want these to be three and a half inches wide. So I can literally go down the list and just type in 3.5 inches. Now this one I'll adjust the, well, I'll still adjust the width. What I do is I select the longest dimension. So all of these have been width. Here we go. So hello summer. I'll adjust the height instead. So we have all of our files here. Dun, 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 dun. Piece of cake, right? Now I want to show you um, a little, we'll call it a hack. Okay. Now I did not create this myself, but it is um, something that I use all the time. I'm going to go to shapes and I want a square. There we go. Now it is a square, but we're going to turn it into a rectangle and let me tell you why. So come up here and unlock the aspect ratio and we're going to type in the maximum page dimensions for using the print and cut. Okay. So I know that I can go up to 6.75 inches wide and 9.25 inches high. Okay. So this is the maximum page size that we can fit per page. Now you can print multiple pages, but this is per page. So I'm going to go ahead and go to arrange and send to back. And now I can just arrange these stickers. And the reason I do this is because number one, um, the Cricut nesting, the part that puts all of your files together, isn't always the most frugal. Okay. They do try to help you out, but sometimes that's not really what you need. So I'm just going to arrange these how I want them to be so that they all fit together really well. That one's, well, I don't want to say it's a little iffy. As long as everything fits in the border and it doesn't overlap, then you're good to go. That one's just a little closer than I would normally do, but it's really not a big deal. Like I said, as long as they don't overlap, we're good. Now, what, let's talk about the actual sticker file. So what makes this a sticker file rather than just clip art? Because we have this nice thick white border around the outside. And that's especially important when you're talking about text, because obviously I don't want it to cut each individual letter. Now, if you have clip art that you want to turn into stickers, that's where I was giving you that little introduction at the beginning. We do have a video on that, but 
that's not today's video. Today we found a really awesome sticker bundle on Create Fabrica and that's what we're using. So that is going to be the difference. Now to proceed to the actual cutting, we are actually going to delete that rectangle because we don't need it. We're going to select all of our clip art and we're going to attach it together. Now I'm going to choose make it and it's going to show me a preview and you can't see on the white page, the white borders, but they are there. Okay. You got to trust me on that. They are there. Now I am leaving it at an eight and a half by 11 size. That's a letter size because that is what I'm printing on today. I'm going to choose continue. If you haven't guessed it yet, we are using the print and cut feature. So what that means is that you do need to have a printer. Now the sticker paper that I'm using today and most sticker paper is going to be for inkjet printer. So if you're on a laser printer, you just want to double check that you're buying the type of paper that, or rather sticker paper that you need for your printer. All right. But first I'm going to go to send to printer and I can select whatever printer I have installed on my computer. All right. It's going to pull up a print dialog just like you would from any other program. And you can print to any computer that you already have installed. So I'm going to print on my HP desk jet. I'm just going to print one copy. And for this case, I don't have to add a bleed because I already have a white border around my design. So you can actually leave it on, but I'm going to go ahead and turn it off and we're going to choose print. Now this is going to send the file to my printer. So make sure you have your sticker paper loaded. Okay. While it's doing that, let's talk a little bit more about what we're actually looking at here. Let's go, let's go to edit just so you can see, because I kind of glossed over it, but you see how it has this thick black line around the outside. That's what reduces that page size because you need to be able to print those lines on the border of your page in order for the cricket to register where it needs to cut these images. Okay. And I will show you that firsthand on the actual machine when we go over there to cut these out. All right. So it says to go ahead and connect my maker. So it's going to connect via Bluetooth. So let's go ahead and let that happen. Okay. So if for some reason your material didn't print, you can come back to the printed area and print again. Okay. So don't feel like it's a one and done, but after you have a successful print, it's time to move on and select the type of material that you're going to cut today. Now let's go to browse all materials because the Cricut does have a wide variety of sticker materials to choose from. So if I type in sticker, you'll see we have clear, white, um, a sticker cardstock, and then sticker paper removable. I'll be honest with you, I don't know what the difference between the clear, the white, and the removable as far as settings. I don't know if they're interchangeable or not. Um, but typically speaking, you can select I'm going to say the white, that's what I usually cut and go ahead and proceed. Now I have a specialty type. Um, and let's talk about the different kinds of cuts that you can have. You can have a kiss cut or you can have a die cut. I'm going for a die cut and I'm going to, when we get over there, I'll talk to you a little bit more about that, what that is. I think it'll make sense when I say a die cut, but for a die cut, I want to cut all the way through the back of my sticker paper. So instead of choosing sticker paper, often I would choose cardstock because I want to make sure it goes all the way through. So I would choose, let's see, light cardstock, um, for a thicker type of sticker paper. So you may have to do a little bit of testing just depending on the brand of sticker paper you're using. And then also the thickness or the weight of it. Okay. Cause sometimes if you have, you know, a super thick glossy type, um, then you may need to choose thicker settings. So don't be afraid to test those settings before you even, you know, get to the print stage. Um, but I am going to choose glitter cardstock and you'll see why in just a minute. But once I have my material set, I'm going to head on over there, load up my mat, and I will show you um, more about what it means to print and cut. All right, guys, so let's take a look at what we have here. I have broke out my Cricut Maker 3. Of course, you can do this with any model of Cricut machine. I do have my printed page and your eyes are not deceiving you. I have something special. This is Silhouette brand glitter sticker sheets. Okay, now I won't lie, this is my first time using it, but I just could not resist. 
I actually picked up that pack at Michael's because they had it on sale, but I know you can order it online as well. But um, basically, I just thought it would be a fun twist on making our stickers and I am not disappointed in the slightest. So I've already loaded it on my mat, as you can see, um, and I did put it in the top corner. And then you could tell I have this thick registration box all the way around and you're gonna see that the machine uses that box to detect where to cut. So all I'm going to do is go ahead and load the mat into my machine. Now you know I've already selected the settings um, in the Cricut software in Design Space. So that part is already done. And then here, let's put this front and center because I want you guys to see what happens. So right there, it's detecting the top registration mark. Now it will detect the side. And basically it works all the way around. And then once it detects and determines where the cut needs to go, it'll adjust the blade and it'll start the normal cutting process. All right, so before I unload the mat, I always pull from the bottom and check out my cut. And obviously I got a really good cut. So my cut settings worked like a dream. Super excited about that. So let's unload. And we can literally just peel off the surrounding area. Now I have these awesome new stickers. So let's peel all these off. And now see what we have. These cute little stickers. Now when I'm ready to use them, I can just pull off the backing. Ta-da! But I really like cutting through because technically, all right, there's different types of cuts that you can do. You can do a cut where these don't fully separate, okay? So instead of having fully separate stickers, you have them all on one sheet and the back is not cut through, okay? But in this case, I wanted to cut through because these are really fun to give out. They're fun to keep around. I don't have to carry them around on a sheet. So I can make these, I can stack them all up and use them when I want to. I can put them in little packages. Like this would be a cute little set, all right? Grab a little poly bag, throw these in, and this would be a nice little set to sell or give away. I mean, I know I keep looking at the glitter. I mean, they are just really awesome, I'll be honest with you. Um, but, you know, I like when they're cut through and they're separate like this, and you get to enjoy them individually instead of, like I said, having them on the sheet. So hopefully this answered some of you guys' questions about print and cut with your Cricut and also making your own stickers. And don't forget to check out the video where we show you how to turn clip art into stickers, all right? It is really awesome. It's really useful because while you can find plenty of sticker um, bundles on Creative Fabrica, you can also, you know, learn to create your own, whether you draw your own clip art or clip art that you find, just in case it's not available in a sticker format. So let's go ahead and wrap it up. So guys, how did you feel about our sticker project? Now, I know you love the glitter sticker sheets. I do too. It's definitely a big incentive to give these a try, but if you can't find the glitter sticker paper, that's okay because there are a lot of great sticker options out there. Now, of course, the Silhouette and Cricut band brands you can commonly find in craft stores. And if you go to most office supply or general stores, you can find label sheets in the office supply section. All right, so don't feel like you have to get fancy with it. A lot of really great options, and you can even do the same thing with printable vinyl. But I think it's fun. I think stickers are fun. They're definitely an um, in-demand item. Um, people are always looking for stickers, in my opinion. Maybe it's just me, um, but I think they are, and I think you guys will enjoy learning to make them, especially learning to master that print and cut feature. So. I'm going to wrap it up for today, guys, but if you have any questions or comments, definitely make sure you put those down below. I love hearing from you guys. I love helping you any way I can. And make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications 
maybe share with a crafty friend because we love growing the channel so that we can keep bringing you these really awesome tutorials. So, all right guys, thanks again for stopping by. I do really appreciate it and we'll see you again next time.